such a powerful story there and to see that 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 husband and father still found the silver lining in all of this. Pretty amazing, Russ. Um, something else, though, switching gears to weather, right? I heard Betsy talking about warmer temperatures. Something to look forward to, for sure. Oh, certainly. And Betsy, today, I got to tell you, we talk about the top 10 weather days <laughs> in Northeast Ohio. This is certainly up there. Well, then uh, reserve a spot for tomorrow because it's going to be pretty darn nice tomorrow, okay. too. And I, I think you're going to like the way that the overall forecast is trending. The trees are certainly loving it. Despite the wind today, we are really starting to see the color popping across northeast Ohio now. So if you have a chance to get out and enjoy that, temperatures are going to fade back into the 50s as we head through the midnight hour. The wind is finally starting to settle down. We did have peak wind gusts today over 30 miles per hour. We now have sustained winds that are anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour. Our gustiest wind will still be right along the lakeshore. No big surprise there. But as we go through the night, even those wind speeds will start to decrease. 60s east, 70s southwest. That's basically the cooling influence of an area of very chilly air that's banked off to the north of us. You can kind of see the uh, blue colors up here to the north of the Great Lakes. That's where temperatures are in the 40s, 50s in northern Michigan. You get up into Detroit or down into Detroit, whichever way you're looking at it. Temperatures right around the 70 degree mark. We're going to ride the fringe of this cool air through the day tomorrow. And then finally, we'll start to see the warmer air pushing in as we head into Friday and the weekend. There's temperatures that are in the 80s and even 90s in the central plains. We're not going to go that warm, but we are definitely going to feel a little bit warmer. Now that the clouds have cleared out, it's going to be a beautiful evening setting up. There's not a whole lot of cloud cover to the west of us, so we do have a lot of sunshine in our forecast for tomorrow, and temperatures uh, should be beautiful. I think we're going to be in the 60s for most of it. We could have a few 70s farther south in your national design hour by hour, but for the most part, it's sunshine that we'll be seeing. It's a very different story farther south, though, off the Yucatan Peninsula, where now Delta is making its way north. Interesting to note here, I'm going to switch which satellite products. I know this looks really crazy, but this is an infrared satellite product and we can play with the color tables a little bit as we're kind of scanning this data. What I want you to see is literally this is uh, where the eye typically would be. It's covered in this uh, picture that you see here, but you can literally see the clouds lifting. Remember areas of low pressure that's lifting in the atmosphere and a hurricane is intense lifting. So you can see these thunderstorm tops as the storm is growing. Now we don't see a lot of that going going on in the early frames of our little movie here, but Watch how this thing just starts to take off. You see new thunderstorm development, and then these storms start to pop up. That is a sign of strengthening, and the storm is expected to strengthen as we head through the night tonight. It's uh, currently a Category 1 storm, 85 mile per hour winds, but it's getting better organized, as I mentioned, and is expected to make the hook through the western Gulf of Mexico, getting to a major intensity, Cat 3 once again, but then possibly down to a 2 right at landfall in Louisiana, very close to where Hurricane Laura came ashore. That would be Friday. Friday afternoon and then coming up toward us as we head into the weekend, specifically Sunday into Monday. That's where the rain chances come from in our universal windows direct forecast. But look ahead of us. We have 70s. Then the showers come in associated with the storm system and we'll keep rain in the forecast as a frontal boundary moves in through the early part of next week. Russ. All right, Betsy. Thank you so much. There you are. You walk right in there. Just right on cue. Thanks. Thank you.